Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to chemistry class. Yesterday, we have studied one important commercial alcohol, methanol. And today, we are going to discuss one more very important commercial alcohol. This is nothing but ethanol C2H5OH. Okay, Veda? Right. Let us go for ethanol. So, what is the formula of ethanol? And what are the characteristics of ethanol? How it going to be prepared commercially? And what are the uses of ethanol? All we are going to be discussed in this class, Veda. Right. So, ethanol, we can say one more name. This is nothing but wine spirit. What better? Wine spirit. Or we can say one more name is nothing but grain alcohol. Kya bol sakte beta? Grain alcohol. Because of it was obtained by the method is nothing but fermentation from the okay, na, grapes like that nana. So we can say this is nothing but what nana? Grain alcohol. Or we can say wine spirit because of useful in making alcoholic beverages. So we have to be say that wine spirit, its formula is nothing but C2H5OH. Right. So it is a colorless liquid, same like methanol. Ethyl alcohol is also a colorless liquid. Yes, it boils at a particular temperature. This is nothing but 351 Kelvin. Right, Nana? So, very, very, very important process is commercially ethanol can be prepared from a compound molasses by the method is nothing but fermentation. So, fermentation is the method to prepare what, Nana? Ethanol. It is the commercial method, Nana. Right. Let us see first of all, sir, what is mean by fermentation? Fermentation method mein kya hota bole to? In this fermentation process, always complex compounds upon decomposition, they are going to be changes into the simple compounds. Complex compounds upon decomposition, changes into the simple compounds. Okay. But decomposition takes place by what decomposition takes place by yeast enzymes the enzymes which are secreted by which are released by the yeast microorganisms yeast microorganisms mainly they are going to okay now release okay two types of enzymes beta one is nothing but invertase very 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 important beta invertase and one more enzyme is nothing but zymase Try to remember, be careful, very important. What are the enzymes released by the yeast? So one is invertase and one more is nothing but zymase. Ase, ase, nothing but enzymes. So, so what are the enzymes released by yeast beta? Invertase and zymase. These two enzymes, they are going to be act as biocatalyst. What beta? Biocatalyst. Means in this process, they are going to be act as catalyst to increase the rate of reaction. Means they are useful for the decomposition of complex compounds into the simple compounds. And this process is going to be takes place in absence of air only. Means we have to be say that. So they can ask you. Fermentation is aerobic process and anaerobic process. It is an anaerobic process. It going to be takes place in absence of air. So final definition. The process of decomposition of complex compounds into simple compounds in presence of enzymes which are released by the microorganism. This is nothing but what beta yeast. So single statement: the decomposition of complex compounds into simple compounds by yeast enzymes. The process is known as fermentation. Okay, beta. Right. So let us see. Already I told you. Yes, in this commercial method, fermentation method, for the preparation of ethanol, we have to take a starting material, raw material. This is known as molasses. Let us go for, sir, what is meant by molasses? Okay, Veda? Right. Molasses is a non-crystalline product of sugar. Molasses is a non-crystalline product of sugar. Actually, sugar is a crystalline product, but I am saying molasses is non-crystalline product. Okay, na? Right. Sir, how to prepare molasses? From where we are getting molasses? Right, Nana. So, molasses is nothing but it is a. So, how we are getting molasses? Listen carefully. First of all, here I am going to take a sugar cane, sugar cane juice sample, Nana. Sugar cane, okay, na? juice. Here I am going to be considered first of all. Eat upon separation of sugar. Means from this sample or from this solution, we are going to separate. Separation is we are going to separate sugar particles. Sugar is nothing but crystalline. After the separation of crystalline particles, after the separation of sugar particles from the sugar cane juice, after the separation of sugar, I am saying some solution will be left here. So the left solution 
the left liquor after the separation of sugar that will be appears in black color and it is a viscous liquid so the left block or viscous liquid is known as we have to be say that mother liquor thus mother liquor is known as what beta molasses so molasses is a non crystalline product of molasses is a non crystalline product of sugar which we are getting in sugar industry after separation of sugar final touch molasses is a non crystalline product non crystalline product okay that non crystalline product we are getting after separation this is the non is this is a molasses nana so molasses we are getting after the separation of sugar from the sugar cane juice such left material black viscous liquid that is known as mother liquor or we can say this is known as what nana molasses and remember this molasses we are getting after the separation of sugar only after the separation of sugar even though molasses contain around 20 to 30 percentage of sucrose or we can say 20 to 30 percentage of cane sugar is inside the molasses again we can find some amount of sucrose or cane sugar this is nothing but 20 to 30 percentage of 20 to 40 percent of sucrose they can ask you what is the percent of sucrose present in molasses 20 to 40 percent of sucrose what has been by molasses the mother liquor which is left after the separation of sugar this is nothing but what beta molasses okay right right one very 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 important question for two marks they will ask you it is very important commercial method nana for the preparation of ethanol right manufacture of ethanol preparation of ethanol from the method is fermentation from the method is fermentation by taking the compound is what molasses means molasses on fermentation gives ethanol it is very important commercial method for two marks must i should try to practice the equations right let us go for method nana first of all i am going to take molasses molasses contain 20 to 40% of sucrose molasses contain 20 to 40% of sucrose or we can say 20 to 40% of what nana cane sugar such molasses undergo fermentation fermentation takes place by yeast enzymes like invertase and zymase and fermentation takes place in aerobic condition at low temperature and finally we are getting the product is nothing but what nana ethanol single statement molasses on fermentation by yeast enzymes at low temperature and in an aerobic condition it gives a product is nothing but what beta ethanol right so this molasses process going to be takes place in two steps yes let us see nana step 1 in presence of invertase enzyme step 2 in presence of zymase enzyme okay in presence of invertase what is going okay now which reaction is going here molasses is contain around 20 to 40 percent of sucrose 20 to 40 percent of sucrose what is the formula of sucrose here c12 h22 o11 so this is nothing but what beta sucrose sucrose on reaction with invertase means sucrose on hydrolysis in presence of invertase enzyme it changes into glucose and fructose you know this formula very well beta c6h12o6 glucose c6h12o6 glucose both they are having same molecular formula they will be different in little bit functional group one contain aldehyde and one more contain ketone okay leave it now so sucrose on hydrolysis in presence of invertase gives glucose and fructose let us go for step 2 now now that glucose or fructose and both the molecules also undergo pure fermentation fermentation takes place by the main enzyme this is nothing but zymase in presence of zymase glucose and fructose upon fermentation gives ethyl alcohol c2 h5 oh it gives 6 to 10 percent is of ethyl alcohol such ethyl alcohol is known as rosperate and in that fermentation method there will be release of what is a gas beta carbon dioxide gas will be releases and fermentation is purely always it is a exothermic process nana once again sucrose and hydrolysis in presence of invertase gives glucose and fructose now glucose and fructose in presence of zymase gives a 6 to 10% of 
ethyl alcohol or we can say ethanol this is called respirate is in the process along with alcohol we are getting two moles of carbon dioxide also and along with some amount of heat energy goes to be releases six carbon two twos are four now per two six or carbons are okay beta 12 hydrogen two fives are ten ten plus two what no no 12 hydrogen everything will be balanced if you want to catch it so sucrose on height rises in planes of invertase gives glucose and fructose now that glucose and fructose both the molecules in planes of zymase gives rise to what is the product known as ethyl alcohol here we are getting around six to ten percentage of ethyl alcohol or we can say ethanol that ethanol is okay now is we have to be say that what nana who are in spirit right so after fermentation from molasses or sucrose we are getting six to ten percentage of raw spirit nana right so how how that 6 to 10 percent of ethanol changes into 100 percent of pure ethanol i will show you two steps nana right six to ten percentage of ethyl alcohol which we are getting after fermentation this is known as raw spirit and also we can say that wash and also we can say that what wash or what okay beta so what is mean by wash 6 to 10 percent of ethanol or ethyl alcohol which is of obtained after fermentation of molasses this is nothing but what data raw spirit one more question important right now that 6 to 10 percent is of ethyl alcohol undergo a method the method is purification method that is nothing but fractional distillation we have studied in first year so on the basis of fractional distillation we are going to purify the 6 to 10 percent of ethyl alcohol now that changes into 95.5 percent of ethyl alcohol and 4.5 percentage of water such mixture is known as very 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 important this is called rectified spirit what beta rectified spirit so many times repeated in theory need objective in all exams nana right what is mean by rectified spirit a mixture of 95.5 percentage of ethyl alcohol and 4.5 percentage of water the mixture is known as rectified spirit and also we can say that azeotrope what we can say azeotrope important question and also we can say one more name this is known as industrial alcohol what we can say industrial alcohol commercially upon a use cut a business point of view and also we can say one more point this is called constant boiling mixture what we can say constant boiling mixture because of entire this mixture it contain a constant boiling point the boiling point of this azeotrope is 351.15 kelvin 351.15 kelvin temperature also repeated in neat exam right so why we are saying this is known as constant boiling mixture because of this mixture it contain a fixed components and it contain fixed composition also means percentage so before boiling this temperature this mixture will be in liquid and they are having the percentages like this nana after boiling means above this temperature again these two liquids changes into the vapors again in vapor state also they are having the same composition means below this temperature in liquid state above this temperature in vapor state in rectified spirit components will be same and percentage is percentage is also what nana same means we have to be say that constant boiling mixture and also we can say industrial alcohol and also we can say azeotropic mixture very important nana right now that rectified spirit undergo the process drying means in that if there any again some impurities or water molecule to remove them now we are using the method is nothing but drying method in the drying process overall rectified spirit entire rectified spirit in the process of drying overall rectified spirit now we are passed over the now we are passing over the quick lime what is the formula of quick lime calcium oxide what beta calcium oxide so by passing over the calcium oxide and followed by by passing over the calcium because of both they are acting as dehydrating agents so completely water molecule can be taken by this okay now both the compounds sorry water molecule remove kar sakte na na and finally after drying with these two compounds we are getting finally 99.62 almost all we are getting 100 percentage of 
प्योर इथाइल अल्कोहल सच 100% ऑफ प्योर इथाइल अल्कोहल और वी कैन से 100% ऑफ प्योर इथेनॉल इज नोन एज एब्सोल्यूट अल्कोहल व्हाट बेटा एब्सोल्यूट अल्कोहल सर व्हाट इज मीन बाय एब्सोल्यूट अल्कोहल 99.62 100% ऑफ प्योर इथेनॉल व्हिच इज ऑब्टेन्ड आफ्टर ड्राइंग ऑफ रेक्टिफाइड स्पिरिट इज नोन एज एब्सोल्यूट अल्कोहल Three questions are very important. What is mean by raw spirit or wash? What is mean by rectified spirit or azeotropic mixture? What is mean by absolute alcohol? Three definitions here. Okay, beta. Yes. Right now, now one more question, very very important in yesterday class also already I told you. What is mean by denatured spirit? Denatured spirit. One more name is nothing but methylated spirit. Denatured spirit. Or we can say methylated spirit. Right. 90 95% of rectified spirit i am going to be consider to that 95% of rectified spirit here i am adding 5% of methanol again to that here i am going to add copper sulfate solution for color appearance only again here i am going to add one more reagent this is nothing but pyridine to provide a foul smell somewhat poisonous and dangerous smell nana so that smell will be given by what is the chemical here pyridine nana so after mixing of this pyridine and copper sulfate and 5% of methyl alcohol of addition of this three reagents to that rectified spirit finally we are getting a mixture this is nothing but denatured spirit or we can say methylated spirit it is completely unfit for consumption or means un okay now it is unfit for what beta drinking point of view drinking point of view mein kaam nahi aayega because of rectified spirit mein yahan par kya add kiye tumne methanol add kiye because of added methanol contain poisonous nature and pyridine also contain very dangerous foul smell so completely mixture will becomes unfit for consumption okay right let us go for one more topic i want to say that denaturation of alcohol denaturation of alcohol what is mean by denaturation of alcohol important nana yes first of all i am going to take rectified spirit you know this mixture clearly 95.5% of ethyl alcohol and 4.5% of water this is nothing but rectified spirit the rectified spirit or we can say industrial alcohol we can make it into unfit we can make it into unfit for consumption after adding some denaturants after addition of denaturants rectified spirit it becomes completely unfit this is called denatured spirit so to the rectified spirit what are the denaturants we are adding same thing already i told you here we are adding 5% of methanol and we are adding copper sulfate solution for blue color appearance and we are adding what ana pyridine so these three chemicals are known as denaturants which are added to rectified spirit after addition of these three denaturants rectified spirit becomes completely unfit for consumption it becomes completely unfit for what beta drinking such process is known as denaturation of alcohol so they can ask you after addition of this denaturates why rectified spirit is becoming unfit for consumption reason is in that one of the chemical is 5% of methanol what is the formula of methanol ch3oh methanol methanol on oxidation in this process methanol added methanol undergo oxidation so it is a primary alcohol primary alcohol on oxidation gives aldehyde so methanol on oxidation gives one carbon aldehyde one carbon aldehyde is nothing but formaldehyde after consumption that formaldehyde again undergo oxidation changes into formic acid once again alcohol on oxidation gives aldehyde again aldehyde on oxidation gives carboxylic acid so this is nothing but methyl alcohol or we can say that methanol methanol on oxidation changes into methanol i am saying methanol this is nol alcohol this is methanol aldehyde again that methanol on oxidation changes into what nana methanoic acid methanoic acid so after consumption of this denatured spirit automatically inside the body methanol changes to methanol methanol changes into methanoic acid this methanol and methanoic acid they are very dangerous they causes blindness and also finally leads to the condition death condition also itna dangerous effect we can batayega by whom beta denatured spirit very very important okay right so one more objective point of the question sir what is mean by mineralized methylated spirit 
mineralized methylated spirit so 90% of rectified spirits to that we are adding 9% of methanol and we are adding 1% of petroleum ion and also a purple dye for the color appearance only so this mixture is known as mineralized methylated spirits only for objective they will ask you this composition try to remember right so very very important question Nana. yes fermentation takes place by what yeast enzymes in what is enzymes this enzymes are responsible for the decomposition of complex compounds into simple compounds yes sir no better so in this process for that invertase and gymes for that invertase and gymes because of they are only doing fermentation no better so for the two enzymes we have to provide we have to add some food materials so they will ask you what are the chemicals what are the food substances added to the yeast during fermentation two chemicals ammonium sulfate and ammonium phosphate ammonium sulfate and ammonium phosphate these are the chemicals they are added as food material to the yeast during the process is nothing but what on fermentation right they will ask you one more general question what is the percentage of alcohol or ethyl alcohol in wine 10 to 25 percentage what is the percentage of alcohol in beer that is equals to usually 4 to 6 out up to 10 be resected depends on brand beta right so in beer 4 to 6 percent of alcohol will be there in wine 10 to 25 percent of alcohol will be there so these are only for objective questions nana final touch i want to say uses of ethanol uses of ethanol beta right same like methanol yesterday we have studied that methanol that can be used as solvent in making paste in making what beta paste here also same thing uses of ethanol uses of ethanol yes ethanol it used as a solvent it used as a solvent in making what beta paints next point yes especially ethanol is known as wine spirit means it can be used in making alcoholic beverages alcoholic beverages next point by using this ethanol we can prepare power alcohol power alcohol power alcohol or we can say this is called power petrol in petrol well two types of petrols are available one is normal petrol one is power petrol power petrol with somewhat more boosters which increases the fuel quality nana right so ethanol is used in making power alcohol power alcohol contains 80 percent of petrol and 20 percent of absolute alcohol 20 percent of what nana absolute alcohol absolute alcohol with pure ethanol pure ethanol 20 percent is and 80 percent of petrol such mixture is known as question was repeated important what is the mixture of power alcohol 80 percent of petrol plus 20 percent of absolute pure ethanol so the mixture is nothing but power alcohol it used as a motor fuels next nana yes and ethanol due to its fuel nature because ethanol on decomposition gives carbon dioxide also and water molecule also nana so it also contains combustion nature fuel nature nana so that's why ethanol we can use in making a substitute of petrol substitute of petrol the substitute of petrol name is nothing but natalite very 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 important question what is mean by natalite what is mean by natalite natalite is nothing but a substitute form of petrol which was made with what nana ethanol very very important next point so ethanol can be used ethanol can be used in making medicines what better medicines so medicine preparation may be often used kar sakte. which type of medicines that is nothing but cns depressant which type of medicines beta cns depressant medicines so cns depressant means central nervous system central nervous system it going to be uh, what are depressed nothing but to relief from stress and mental depression means for the treatment of psychos and neurosis doctors they will suggest some medicines in that medicines what we are mixing beta ethanol because of it contain the nature alcoholic nature somewhat anesthesia nature now little bit so we have to be say that ethanol is useful in making medicines and which will be act as a what nana cns depression 
CNS depressant means which will re, which will provide the relief or okay, no, okay, which will provide the relief from the stress and mental tension. In that medicines we can be mixed what beta ethanol. I hope you understand. Yes, one more objective preparation is there. Preparation of ethanol from starch. Preparation of ethanol from starch. In that process, we have to use three enzymes: diastase, maltase, zymase. Diastase, maltase, zymase. I want to show you here short form, and I will send you the notes. Okay, na clearly, na na. Yes, you see there clearly, na na. Yes, come on, see once again. First of all, here I am going to take starch. The starch formula is C six H ten O five. C six H ten O five. It is only for objective, na na. So starch formula is C six H ten O five taken in. This is the formula of starch. Starch undergo hydrolysis. Starch undergo hydrolysis. Hydrolysis takes place by the using a enzyme. The enzyme is nothing but diastase. In presence of diastase, starch on hydrolysis it gives a product. The product is nothing but maltose. The maltose formula C twelve H twenty two O eleven. Now that maltose again undergo hydrolysis. In presence of the enzyme, the enzyme is nothing but maltase. Very important. Maltose hydrolyzed by maltase. Maltose is carbohydrate undergo hydrolysis. In presence of maltase enzyme, and it gives the product is the product is nothing but two moles of C six H twelve O six. C six H twelve O six means here we are getting uh, what beta uh, glucose molecule. How many moles of glucose? Two moles. Now the two moles of glucose. Undergo fermentation by the enzyme is nothing but zymase. Under the enzyme is zymase. Same. C six H two L O six in presence of zymase it gives what? Nana six to ten percent is of ethyl alcohol. Six to ten percent of C two H five O H two. So here also we are getting six to ten percent is of ethyl alcohol. This is known as again same thing what? Nana raw spirit. We can convert into hundred percent of absolute alcohol again by using same method. Once again final touch. Only for object two. Starch on hydrolysis by diastase gives maltose. Maltose on hydrolysis by maltase gives two moles of glucose. Now that glucose in presence of zymase gives what? Nana no, no, two moles of ethyl alcohol around six to ten percent is, and also it gives CO two, and also it is also exothermic process. Everything will be same. Now six to ten become fractional. Fractional gives rectified. That rectified upon drying it gives absolute alcohol. Everything will be same. Try to remember the formulas and equations are there in your notebook. I hope you understand better. Right.